last night on The Bachelor. You know, me and Boston Cream had this initial spark. The second she she came out of that limo, I knew, and we've had this connection, like one of the strongest connections in the house ever since. And Honey Crueler, I hardly know her. We've had some amazing one-on-one -on -one dates, probably some of the best of the season. But I feel like we've never gone to like that deeper conversation that we need to get to, to to build on a relationship. And Fruit Loop, she's she's an absolute ball of fun. She's she's a blast and she makes me laugh and I don't laugh that often, you know? It's gonna be tough, but I think so. Boston Cream, will you accept this rose? This is gonna be easily the hardest decision of my life. You guys are both absolutely amazing, but I have to do what's right for me. Honey Cruller, will you accept this rose? You know, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Boston Cream, you are the one for me. You've always been the one for me since day one. I choose you. What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. You guys know my favorite food is the donut, specifically the Boston Cream donut. Now, the amount of money I've spent in my donut eating career is probably a number I don't wanna know. So I thought it'd be in my best interest financially to learn how to make my own donuts. I've tried doing this before on the channel and it just didn't go as planned. But today is Redemption Day. I can feel I have this little tingle sensation going on. So in today's video, I'm gonna be making my own homemade Boston cream donuts with a little bit of a twist to bring the calories down. But we're not just gonna bake them and eat them. What we're gonna do is I have my mom coming over and we have four different Boston creams, all from different bakeries across Toronto. And we are gonna do a blind taste test to see if we can distinguish where each one is coming from as well as giving it a rating out of 10. So let's get baking. So baking is a labor of love and no food demands more loving than a filled donut. So with the Boston cream, we have three components, the dough, the chocolate topping, and the filling. So we are gonna start with the dough first because that takes the longest amount of time. But before I do, I gotta show you something. So one of my viewers, Brian Kozak, actually sent me these sick donut shoes. So thank you, thank you so much, I love them. So back to the dough. So we're gonna start with the thing called the starter. It's the wet part of the dough. So very simple, we're gonna add two cups of 2% milk to our mixing bowl here. One, count it with me guys, out loud. Two, good, all right. Now we're gonna go in with two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. One, two, middle of a quarter. We gotta be precise, baking is always precise. A quarter, and then last but not least, we need two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. One, two, and then two tablespoons of sugar. So what we're gonna do is just let this mix for a second, and then it's supposed to froth up. So our milk is gonna look like it's got rabies, and that's gonna take around five minutes, and then we continue with the dough. Five minutes later. All right, so we're back, and it looks like our yeast frothed up a bit, so right now we are on the right track. So now it's time to continue with the dough. So I'm gonna add room temperature butter, a quarter of a cup, into the bowl. Uh, I have two large egg yolks. I removed the whites, so we're gonna add that as well. We're gonna go with a teaspoon of vanilla here. Madagascar vanilla, it can be from anywhere that you want. Go. And then just a dash of nutmeg. So nutmeg's in a lot of donuts. It's actually a secret ingredient in a lot of donuts. So fun fact right there, just a little dash. That looks about good. Okay, so now we're gonna slowly start mixing this. And right here I have two and a third cup of flour. And as it's mixing, I'm gonna add half a cup at a time and slowly let it combine. So, I'm getting a little bit nervous here because last time we did this, it just didn't go too great. And slowly add some more speed. Whoa, it's a squirter. Wow. All right, let's start going in with our dough here. So, half a cup at a time. Okay. 
It's already smelling like Krispy Kreme in here, everyone. This is acting up a little bit. Okay, last little bit here. Right, so that should be our dough, hopefully. It doesn't really look too promising here. Let me just slow it down, take a little peek. Okay, so now it's time to knead this bad boy, AKA massage it. So it's like you have a girlfriend or your boyfriend, you're gonna massage her in the bed. You wanna treat your significant other well. If you don't have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, whatever it is that you're dating, give them a massage every now and then. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this. I feel like it's supposed to be like in an actual, oh, like circle. Yeah, I already know this is not gonna turn out how we want to. I don't want my dough to overtrain, you know? So you can't overwork the dough, but I don't know how to tell if it's gonna be overworked. We give it a spank for good measure. So I think, I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm gonna call it at this, pour it into a dough ball. And then what I'm gonna do is briefly brush it with a bit of oil. So by putting oil on it, it avoids getting that crust on the outside when you let it sit. So I'm just gonna give it a nice little lubricant of some oil. Lube your balls, guys. There we go, so that is the dough. So I'm gonna let it sit in this bowl here. <coughs> And hopefully it's gonna double in size. So it's gonna be an hour and a half and I'll see you guys soon. Later. Okay, so a couple squats and hit thrust later and our dough should be doubled in size right now. Come on, please, let's go. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's about doubled in size. So now what we have to do is roll this thing out into like a big log, cut them into our desired pieces and then form them into smaller balls, put them on the parchment paper and let them rest again for 40 minutes before we bake them because we're not gonna fry them to save on some calories. So let's see how this thing goes. I think I need a flour and the table again, so it doesn't stick. Maybe, there we go. I actually don't even know if I'll need the rolling pin. So I don't really know how many donuts I'm gonna make here. I like them big, but I think I wanna keep them consistent with the other ones in the competition a little bit later, so let's see if I can actually go and make a dozen here. All right, so that looks like pretty good. Now I got this very intimidating looking knife and we are gonna cut them into hopefully even sized pieces. One, eight. So it looks like we're getting nine donuts. So not quite 12, that's totally okay. So now we have to form them into little balls and then we have to pinch the bottom to form the dough. And these are supposed to also double in size again as well. How do you pinch, how do you pinch the dough? What the hell? This dough does not seem right. But it did double in size. It looks like I'm making like flowers, dough flowers. How do I pinch you? Okay, so the dough balls are made. We have nine right here. They're supposed to rest for 40 minutes. We're gonna put them in the oven and the oven is actually off and hopefully they're supposed to double in size. So let's see these bad boys soon. So dough is basically taken care of. What I did already was the filling. So a lot of times with Boston creams, there's a lot of sugar, a lot of cream in the filling, adds a lot of calories and I don't wanna add a lot of calories. So I used the sugar-free, fat-free pudding mix. It tastes so good and it's only 25 calories per serving and there's no added sugar. So all I have to do was just add two cups of cold milk, then add the pudding mix, whisk it for a couple of minutes and it's completely finished and tastes amazing. So this is what you get after only like five minutes and it's a perfect Boston cream filling. So again, this is gonna help us save on calories. So here are our donuts. They look like they've doubled in size, although they don't really look very ball-y. They're like very kind of rustic kind of looking, which is, it could be a good thing, 
I don't know. So uh, oven's preheated at 400 degrees. Put them in for 13 to 15 minutes. And I'm just hoping for the best. So see these guys soon. So filling's done. Dough is gonna be cooking. Now it's time to do the chocolate glaze at the top. So all I'm gonna do is add semi-sweet chocolate chips, about a cup to the pan here with a little bit of milk. So usually with the chocolate toppings, it's a lot of cream and then some added butter. I don't wanna do that. So I just think chocolate with a few tablespoons of milk is completely fine. You can't even tell the difference. I'm just gonna cook this down at a very low heat as well. That's, and then around maybe like a tablespoon to two tablespoons of milk. There we go. I'm gonna let it cook on a very low heat so that simmer. I don't even really know what to think as I'm looking inside here, but they are getting quite massive. Wow. They do look pretty good though. They do look quite dry though, to be honest. But uh, hopefully the filling and the chocolate kind of makes up for that. It smells quite good though. So I don't know, it could be an underdog in this uh, competition here. I'm impressed. Okay, time to take these bad boys out. And these things look and feel like dinner rolls. Look at these things. Like, they don't really receive my hand like a donut should receive my hand. Oh, 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 my butter. Settle down there. So now I need to put this on to a cooling tray so they have the air underneath to help it cool down. So I'm gonna place each one here. This. I don't know, these look like very tasty dinner rolls though. Make a great ham and cheese sandwich or something. Now we're gonna top each one with a little bit of butter. And butter just adds a whole lot of flavor too. All right, there we go. So now we're just gonna let this sit and cool for a little bit and then we start the whole assembly process and then the Boston creams are done. Time to fill the donuts. So filling the donut is probably the hardest process about the whole thing because pulling out on time doesn't come naturally to everyone. But what you gotta do is you just gotta listen to the dough. When you put it in your hand to fill it, it's gonna tell you a lot. It's gonna start to beat like a heart. And right when it's about to just burst, you, you pull it right away. So let's get to it. So I have a little rod right here. I'm gonna try to, to make my insertion hole. Oh yeah, okay. That looks pretty good. We are gonna test the waters here today. Boom, 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 boom. I can feel it. I can feel it. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I don't want to come out of that side. Boom, boom. Okay. I'd like to see it come out a little bit after I'm done with it. There we go. Now we're going to keep on repeating that process eight more times as we have eight more donuts. And then after that, we put on the chocolate layer and we are good to go. So it looks like every single one is filled now. This is a lot messier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, last but not least, gonna add the chocolate sauce here. So I hope we have enough chocolate, I think I do. All right, let's go very gently. Nice, generous bath. Roll, pop. There we go, there's number one. Hey, it actually looks pretty good. It actually looks like a Boston cream donut. So I'm, I'm fairly impressed, I'd pay. A dollar for that. I think I'd pay a dollar for that. Would you pay a dollar for that? Yeah, I'd pay a dollar for that. Maybe two. Two. Thank you. There we go. They actually look really good. I'm actually quite impressed. Very impressed. I didn't even think we were gonna make it this far. I thought I was gonna have to order Tim Hortons and then kind of fool you guys into thinking I made it. All right, we got two more to go. And last but not least. Oh. 
And there we go, guys. So that's Will Tennyson's homemade Boston cream donuts. Look pretty good. So we're gonna let the chocolate harden up and then time for the games. Time for the Boston cream blind taste test. I'm here with my mom. Hi guys. We have the Tennyson Be Good most of the time cheat day shirts on. So you haven't had many Boston creams in your day, have you? I have never had a Boston cream donut in my life. So I think I'm probably the fan favorite, but to be fair, I've only ever had Tim Hortons out of the batch that's coming today. So I think we're pretty much on an even playing field here. I, I, I think we are. I think you, you, you got me on donut eating. All right. Well, in general. Should we put our blindfolds on? We better. Let's go. Well, I have not been blindfolded before on camera, at least for YouTube. Have you, Mom? Have you been blindfolded before? Well, only once. You have? Yeah. That didn't strike me as the type. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're things, all different behind closed doors. There's a lot of things you don't know. Well, all I know is one thing. I can't see a thing. I my taste buds are ready to get Boston cream. How about you? I am so yeah. ready. Yeah. So feel free to play along if you have a couple of Boston creams, a couple of blindfolds, and a mom. If not, that's okay. So we have five Boston creams, all from different locations. And we are going to see if my mom and I can distinguish where each one is coming from, as well as giving it a rating out of 10. So the five places that we have are my very own creation that you guys saw earlier in the video. We have Tim Hortons, we have Amazing Donuts. Yes, that is the name of the location. Uh, if, that, if this adds anything to it, it's a nut-free bakery. Is that interesting? I, you know what, there's enough nuts here. Yeah, I don't know, tell me about it. And then we also have Hermes or Hermes, what would you call it, Hermes? I call it Hermes. Hermes, Hermes Bakery, which is established in the 1950s as Toronto's first ever kosher bakery. Pretty interesting. And then we also, last but not least, have Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme, you all know what that is, so. You only have to do that much of an introduction for that. So let's get into round one. Round one. Is it? Oh, wow. I just got hit with some cream first. Hold on. Here? Yeah. Okay. You, you're not even going to cut it for me? I've got to like just bite into this thing? Well, grow up. Did you get one for a bite? Oh, I'm smelling it. Oh, I'm still pressing one. You need to do the hand oh. stuff before you get to the main event. Oh. Mine's good. Okay. Okay. It feels good. Oh. I had an odd bite. Cream's a bit sour. So you fine? I didn't get any cream in mine. You didn't get any cream? No. no. I didn't. I was taking a little ladylike bite. I didn't want to have it all over my face like you do. So. A bit bready. Well, I don't know. Here's a fun fact: a Boston cream pie is not even really a pie. So I don't even know if this is really a donut. No, it's surely a donut, Mom. I can assure you that. Um. Okay, I like this. You like this one? I like this one too. I I'd, say, I'd say the cream is very overpowering. No. I'd say that the, the dough does not have too much taste to it. No. No. I disagree. You disagree? Chocolate's very chocolatey. Yeah. It's very, it's actually very delicious. Yeah. Like the most important thing of the Boston cream is the consistency of the filling. You want it to be thick and you want it to be creamy, but not too thick. That's a choking hazard. And this one is perfect consistency. It just goes down my throat. But is it naturally. supposed to be like whipped cream or is it supposed to be like custard? It's a custard. This tastes whipped creamy, but nice and light. That's what I like. About. I'm gonna finger blast this one. I'm, I'm, I'm actually not even sure where this one's from. I get like what straight does that up. Mean? Huh? I'm, wow, I actually, I'm lost here. Okay, so. How do you feel? Are you ready to guess? No, well, I don't know. Oh, I just got familiar by here. Did you? I did. Um, this tastes like, okay, I think I got my guess. This tastes like home now. You know, because what it is, is this is not a man-made donut we're dealing with right now. This is, this, is, this, is, this is factory made. How do you know that? I just have a feeling. So I, this, guy, this is either going to be Krispy Kreme, but the thing is about Tim Hortons, I have made eye contact with the baker as he's filled the Boston cream, mm -hmm. but I don't know if that was specific to that location or if that's just, they do that. So I, hmm. Okay, I think I got my guess. Oh my okay, I got, I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one. Tim Krispy Hortons. Cream. What'd you give that one out of 10? Well, since this is my first ever Boston cream donut, I, I think it was damn good. I'm gonna give that a, I'm gonna I'm give, that give that like a seven. I was gonna give it a seven. Too. Round two. Oh. Is it here? Yeah. Oh. Okay, all right, now this feels lighter than the last one. Oh, it has some weight to it. No, I think this feels- We're dealing lighter. with a, a generous I feel favor. this feels lighter. You think this feels lighter? Yeah. Maybe the guy who did mine, either had something to prove with this thing, okay. or he's just having a really good day. Okay. Hmm. Did you get hit? Did you get hit? What does that mean? Did you get hit with cream? I can't talk because my oh, chocolate is stuck on the roof of my mouth. I didn't get hit with any cream in that bite. And and you should get you should get cream naturally in the first bite. I feel like I have to work too much but the, to get my cream. I, the dough is very nice and spongy. It's light, lighter than the last one. I find the the filling to be quite elusive. Do you? I can't taste it. Yeah, exactly. But I taste a lot of nice chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Okay, All right. I think I'm ready. Yeah. Three, two, one. Amazing, Amazing donuts. donuts. Oh! oh! What would you get that one out of ten? Um, I think that it's about like maybe seven and a half, eight. Really? I think that seven was. Seven and a half, maybe. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with a seven there too. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. I you really one taste bite. the cream. I had one bite, nothing, and then one bite I was like, oh gosh, mm. it got me good. It like erupted in my mouth. Round three. Oh dear. Oh. It's like a sandwich situation going on here. Okay. This. There's something in here more than just donut. Maybe there's like. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying. I'm trying to look at it from a different angle. But like, oh, I see black. I think maybe there's a prize inside here, like, or this would be the kind of thing you could go to How do I a, a jail and somebody's baked something. A jail. Into, yeah. You know, like. Is it a penitentiary donut? Yeah. Like if you brought a, a, like a nail file or something, because this is heavy. Okay. I'm already thinking this is yours. How do I even? Because you so overdo it with all the toppings and everything. So, I see a hole in my mouth, I fill it. Yeah, I've heard That's that. That's what I always say. Holy crap, this thing has some girth to it. So you're earning some points oh. just from that. Wow. Okay, you know what? I'm getting croissant vibe. That is sweet. That's sweet. It has, a, it has an egginess to it. Very, too. very eggy. Now, do you know what? I know kosher is not a taste, it's a feeling. And I remember when I was back in- Kosher is not a feeling. <laughs> And when I was back in grade eight, I remember going to bar mitzvah, and I remember having something like this. Really? But I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I wasn't drunk, but I hope it's not. When you have bar mitzvah, you're 13. Holy crap! Would you would you even consider this a, a donut? No. This is, that's, this is cheating. That's like a whole cake. Yeah, damn. That's, that can actually feed a family of four, I think, and it's so heavy. Okay. okay. How do you feel? Ready to guess? I am. I'm ready. Yeah? I, have. yeah? I think I'm fairly confident on this one, actually. All right, three, two, one. Hermes! What did you say? Yours. Oh, no, there's no way Yours. that was mine. I'm gonna give that one. I mean, I gotta respect the effort put into that making of that donut. I wanna give that eight and a half out of 10. Potentially a nine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say an eight. Round four. Oh, okay. Oh, this one now is like air. This one is like the the last one was the weight. The weight was five to one of these. Hmm. Yeah, this is somebody knows how to do light and fluffy. This is this is somebody that knows light and fluffy. Oh gosh, almost choked. I don't know about this one. What do you think? It's very not sweet. Which I like. You like this. Well, I like not sweet, but I didn't get any of the inside. You didn't? No. I got I, got, I just got up close and personal. I think my it. mouth is not as big as yours. And you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta learn the suck technique. You know, you no, do? no, I'm not doing that suck. You don't even know what it is. I've I seen you before do the you suck technique. You find the hole, you find the hole, yeah. you bite down and suck at the same time. You get total cream saturation that okay, way. Okay, here, then I'm gonna have to go this side. There's like a nice balance here between sweet and savory. Yeah? Mm. I'm not liking this filling. The filling, I, I'm missing the vanilla bean that it desires. This is, tastes more like whipped cream. It does, I agree. Mm -hmm. And there's a little bit of a, hmm, I'll need one more time. There's something about this one, I just want to keep on eating it. Mm. But I, I don't like it, I don't love it. You don't love it? But I just want to keep on eating it. Mm. Alright, are you ready to guess? I'm, I'm ready. I know for sure what this one is. Alright, three, two, one. Mine! Mine. Tim Hortons, eh? What would you give this out of 10? That one. Um, I'm gonna give that one. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say a, a soft five. No. I'm gonna say a soft That's five. That's not nice. Why? I'm gonna say seven. seven. Because you know what? There's different parts that all make the whole. It's not just. Everyone's beautiful, right? Yeah. Okay. Final round. Circular? Oh. This mm. is interesting here. It's almost like a hockey puck. But it's very. It's also a nice uh, weight. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I like this one. This one's cakey. It receives my mouth a lot differently than the other ones. The other ones kind of receive my mouth like a pillow, but this one kind of comes off like a, a cracker, if you will. Don't you think? This one is by far the lightest. What do you mean, in terms of weight or taste? Weight. Weight? Mm -hmm. I like this one the best. Really? This one is good. It isn't very good. You haven't chosen Hermes. Right. Okay, but 
There is no way the machine is this generous with the filling. I'm just gonna go right for the inside to suck the cream out. This one's very tasty though. For somebody that's not want to have a whole ton of donuts. Like if you were having a donut challenge, yeah. you would want to be having these. Yeah. Because you could eat a lot more of them. Man, my brain does not know how to react right now. Okay, I need one more bite. You want one more bite? Yeah, one more. It's all over your face. Is it? Yeah. Really? Oh my god. I don't know where it's from. There's no way that this is Krispy Kreme, in my opinion. I think it might be. But I think this one... But I've used up my Krispy Kreme guess. You have? I, I don't think you can guess the same place twice, because then that's... I can't? I don't think so. I think I can. I'm gonna go again with the same... Okay, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Amazing yes. donuts. I really like that one. I like that one too. I'm gonna say that one's enough. I'm gonna agree with you. That was that was spectacular. That was, yeah. a, that was a work of art. Oh. Oh. Wow. wow, it's on your nose. Is it? You eat like a damn pig. <laughs> All right, so round one. Mom guessed Krispy Kreme. Will guessed Tim Hortons. It was amazing donuts. Oh! Wow. Round two. Mom guessed amazing donuts. Will guessed amazing donuts. It was Tim Hortons. Really? Oh! Round three. Mom guessed Will Tenney. And Will guessed Hermes. It was Hermes. Okay. Round four, mom guessed Tim Hortons. Will guessed Will Tenney. It was Will Tenney. And round five, mom guessed Hermes and Will guessed Amazing Donuts. And it was Krispy Kreme. It was Krispy Kreme. Kreme. And I said specifically, I did not think it was me Krispy Kreme. I've only ever had the glazed donut from Krispy Kreme. So I won. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually disappointed in myself that I didn't get Tim Hortons. Because that's like close to home. Can I see it now? What, what they all you look You can, like? one second. Yeah. Oh. These are yours? Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. Looks a bit like a hamburger bun when you're here. You know, this would taste fantastic as a breakfast sandwich. Oh. With egg, cheese, and ham. Egg, cheese, and ham. And chocolate. Not with chocolate. Oh, oh okay. Goofball? Okay. No. <laughs> Just the straight up bread. All right. Well, that was the donuts. I mean, do you like, would you want to do another one, one of these things? Like maybe pizza or something down the road? Sure. If you guys like to see one another one of these things, let us know in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we will see you guys in the next one.